Hello, CS scholars. Take your English students book. Today we are going to do unit 5. Unit 5, the tiger, the holy man and the jackal. Children, India is a country of diverse communities, languages and culture. Yes, and folk tales too. Folk tales have been a part of India's culture since ages. What do you mean by folk tales, children? Folk tales means uh, the very old stories which have been passed down from one generation to another in a spoken form. So, this story is basically a folk tale. Now, what do you uh, let, see this? Let's go exercise. Which of these stories have you heard before? Take the ones that you have heard. See the stories, children. Akbar and Birbal, Panchatantra, Fairy Tales, Hitopadesha, Tenali, Raman. Children, you might have heard about all the stories. So, whichever is remembered to you, you can take that story. And what do you have to do? Do you remember any character from any of these stories? Which character is it? Children, if I would have to give the answer, uh, one character uh, I remember right now from Tenali Raman series, there was an oil seller. So, I remember that uh, character of that oil seller. So, whichever character do you remember, you have to write it here. Children, in this story, there are six characters. They are a tiger, a holy man, a jackal, a people tree, a buffalo and a road. So, let's see what's in the story. Once a tiger got locked inside a cage, he tried very hard to get out but in vain. He rolled and bit the bars in anger and grief when he failed. Children, uh, there was a tiger and he got locked in the inside the cage and he tried to get out from that cage but in vain. In vain means he didn't get the success and when he tried again and again and all the time he got failed and he, he became angry and he bit the bars of that cage. By chance a poor holy man came by. Let me out of this cage, O oh, holy one, cried the tiger. The tiger Asked for the help from that poor holy man. No, my friend, replied the holy man calmly. You might eat me if I did. The holy man said, no, I won't help you. What if you might eat me? No, not at all for the tiger. In fact, I will always be grateful to you and will always be your slave. So, the, um, the tiger took a swore. Swore means children, it is a past tense of swear. Swear means to make a promise. So, the tiger make a promise that I won't eat you. I will be your slave. Please do the grateful. To do the uh, grateful means showing appreciation to somebody. To do the kindness. Now, when the tiger cried and swore, the holy man's heart softened. And at last, he agreed to open the door of the cage. As soon as the door was opened, out popped the tiger. Children, the tiger cried again and again. Cried means he was saying uh, again and again to that holy man to open the door of that cage. And the holy man's heart softened. Softened means uh, he be, uh, his heart became softer and gentler. And he opened the cage. And what happened? As soon as the cage was opened, the tiger popped out on the Holy man popped means jumped, jumped on that holy man, pouncing on the poor man 
he growled now the tiger growled growled means uh, he ma he made a the tiger made a low sound from the throat to show anger or to give a warning what a fool you are what is to stop me from eating you now so the tiger told that now no one could uh, stop me from eating you i have been trapped for so long i am terribly hungry he said that i was trapped in the cage for so long and now i am terribly hungry the holy man pleaded for his life and at last the tiger agreed now the holy man pleaded pleaded means he begged he begged he make a request emotional request and in a positive way emotional request means in a positive way he begged the holy man begged for his life before the tiger and the tiger agreed he said if three people say that i am not being fair to you i will not eat you and will let you go uh the tiger put a condition in front of that holy man and the tiger said that if three people say that i am not being fair to you if three people say that i am doing unfair with you so i will let you go then i will not eat you so the holy man first asked a people tree what it thought of the matter so the holy man went to the people tree and he asked for the matter the people tree replied what have you to complain about i give shade and shelter to everyone who passes by but they return my kindness by tearing down my branches to feed their cattle don't cry when the holy man went to the people tree and he said that why are you crying when i give shelter to the passers by and in return what you people give you tear my branches and you feed your cattle so if you people are not showing kindness to us then what are you expecting from a tiger so the people tree said that i can't say anything then the holy man went further till he saw a buffalo turning a wheel that drew water from a well when he asked the buffalo if the tiger was being unkind and unfair to him the buffalo replied you are a fool to expect the tiger to thank you children when that holy man went further he saw a buffalo who was turning a wheel and that wheel drew water from a well and he asked that buffalo about the situation now the buffalo replied that you are a fool that you are expecting a thank you from a tiger look at me when i gave milk people fed me the finest seeds and oil cakes the buffalo said that when i gave milk in return you people gave us uh, green fresh grasses finest seeds and oil cakes oil cakes means children cakes made from different grains after oil has taken out from that grains now when i am old they have tied me up here and they give me only dry grass now the buffalo said that now i am old now i can't give that much milk so you people have tied me here and now you people are giving us only dry grasses now what are you expecting from us and what we should expect from you so you are a fool the holy man grew sad he then asked the road what it felt about his situation then the holy man became sad he became very sad and he asked the road about his situation my dear sir said the road how foolish you are to expect anything else here the road said that uh, what are you expecting look at me i am very useful to everyone yet all 
rich and poor, great and small, walk on me as they go past. The road said that children, I am very useful yet all. Yet all means for all. Those who are rich, those who are poor, for great, for small one, to, uh, for everybody I am useful. And in return, what you people are giving us? That you don't maintain us. You walk poorly, badly on us. At this, the holy man turned back sorrowfully. Now, from all the three people, from the people tree, from the buffalo and from the road, the holy man did not get any help. And he became very sad. On his way back, he met a jackal who called out, Why? What's the matter, holy man? Why are you so miserable? Now, when he was back, when he was going back to the tiger, he met a jackal and he asked that holy man, that jackal asked that holy man, what is the matter? Why are you so miserable? Miserable means in a pathetic situation. The holy man told him all that had happened and how the tiger would not spare his life. The holy man said all that had happened. How very confusing said the jackal. When he heard all the things that holy man had to say to him, what do you mind telling me over again? Now children, uh, that situation was very confusing for that jackal and that jackal asked that holy man to repeat that situation. The holy man repeated his story all over again but the jackal still shook his head as if he could not understand. Now, the, again, he, uh, that holy man repeated the story. But again, the jackal was not able to understand the story. He was, sh he shook his head. Shook his head means he moved his head side to side, up and down. Means he was confused. The jackal was confused. Now, children, uh, right now we stop this story here. In our next video, we will... Continue. Okay. Bye-bye. Good day.